Hello Interghost here and I'm back doing another ZX Spectrum programming tutorial and today's video is going to be called Color Combinations I'm going to do something a little bit more interesting than the, the last one which was uh, calculations so we're going to have a bit more graphics on this one first of all I'd like to apologize for my voice I've got a stinking cold at the moment and I'm talking from my nose so I apologize for that um, to make this one easier to explain, I've already typed up the code because this one you're going to have to see the whole code really to be able to explain what's going on. So before I explain it, if I run it so you can see what the end result is and uh, there's some beeping noises in this so um, excuse me if it's too loud. So there we go, if I just uh, stop it there, so you get the general idea of what's going on. So as you can see, what happens is the border and the paper change colour, and then it prints lines of all the different colours the Spectrum can use, which is um, eight different colours. And on top of the different coloured lines, it will print every different colour ink that it can use, so the eight different colour inks. And it's just a uh, simple program just to show off uh, ways of changing the paper, ink and borders um, in a sequence. So if we start at the top, and uh, we've got a few new commands in here. So the first line, number 10, we've got the for command. Now what for does, uh, it's always used with to and next to make this statement work and what it does is it allows the program to repeat a given number of times so 4 is always uh, followed by a letter and then two numbers which is separated by the command 2 so this is basically saying that letter B will range between 0 and 7 and uh, when the statement is first set, it sets this letter here, so B in this um, occasion, to this first number, which is 0. And then what it will do is it will run through the program. When it gets to uh, the next command, which has got the same letter, so next B, it will repeat back to this for statement, and it will add 1 to this um, number if the number is equal or lower than what the second number is. So it'll start off at zero, get to here, come back to the top, add one to it, come back down, come back up, and it's still equal or lower than seven. So I add another one to it, so it would then become two, and it keep going until it gets to seven, and then it'll come round, it add one to this, which will make it greater than seven and then this loop will stop and that will be the whole program completed so that's what the for statement does, it just loops a program a given number of times so in the first line we're setting it to zero to start with second line we're using border which I've explained before and paper so the outside and the inside colours and it's setting the border to start with zero, which is black, and paper to black. Now this statement here is uh, CLS, which means clear the screen. So it will basically clear everything off of the screen which is already there, and then set the paper and the border to the color we want it to be. So it just, in this instance, it will make the border and the paper black, and nothing else on the screen. Line 30, using print, now here's a new command, at. What at does is it sets um, a point on the screen. So it's saying to print something at this coordinate. So the first number is the row, 
and the second number is the columns. Uh, on the spectrum there is uh, 0 to 21 rows, so 22 rows essentially, and the columns are 0 to 31, so 32 columns in total. So if you wanted to put something dead in the center of the screen, you would use um, 11, common, sorry, 11, 16, and that would give you the middle point of the screen. So that's what the app does. It sets um, a point, and as you can see, it's um, it's saying at row six, column twelve, we want uh, the ink to be set to nine. Now I did say there were uh, eight colours, so that's zero to seven. So they go black, blue, red, magenta, green, cyan, yellow, white. And then um, if you put uh, colour ink 8, that's transparent. And if you put 9, what that stands for is contrasting white or black. So basically this is setting the ink to either be white or black depending on what the paper colour is behind it. So say you had white paper, it will make the ink black. If you had black paper, it would make the ink white. If you have a dark colour like uh, blue, it will make the ink white. So it just makes it so you can read what the ink is in either black or white. And it's saying, so set the ink to that either white or black colour and then print the number of what B is. So we're setting the uh, border and the paper to black so the ink will be white and it will make the number zero appear at this coordinate. So in the next line, we got another for statement or command, and this time it's the letter P, and again 0 to 7, which will run through every time it gets to the next P, it will come back to this point and add 1 to it. And uh, we then want to print at whatever the number P is, so 0 at the moment, plus 8, so that's the row, so first time it runs through it will be at row 8, and then it will go row 9, row 10, and always at column 8. So basically what this is saying is print a, um, a number in a um, descending column. So the column is going to always be the same, but it's going to add one each time and print this number underneath each other. Uh, again we're setting the ink to uh, what P is and the paper is going to be contrasting black or white so we're, this column is just going to be a black or white uh, background and then we're printing on top of it the number of what P is so this will go up um, 0, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and it will print that number above each other going down in a column and when we run through the program again you'll see what that's doing now this one is a new uh, command as well it's called beep uh, I'm not going to go into this one too much because we'll do another program all about how to use sound uh, but basically what beep does is it it's well clues in the word it makes a beep sound um, beep is always followed by two numbers for, um, separated by a comma the first number is the length of time that the beep goes on for, so in this case it's half a second, 0.5 seconds. And then this is the pitch of the beep. So this is, um, it takes B, times it by P, minus 20 and adds P. So we won't go into this too much, basically this is just saying every time it does this, uh, increase the pitch of the beep sound so it gets higher every time but we'll go into that more in a different program. Uh, line 70, so this is the last for statement and this one is called I and again it's ranging from 0 to 7. Next line we're going to print um, an ink colour of what I is, so 0 at the start. Paper is going to be what P is, which is up here, which is still 0. Then it's going to print a space on the screen 
and then put a number of what i is so in this instance it's zero uh, and then it's going to do another beep each time it does this uh, for 0, 0.0 one of a second so very quickly and this is going to increase each time as well so basically what this is doing is after uh, this one here starts a row it'll put a number at the start of that row it will then do a space <clears throat> and then put numbers in that row going along from 0 to 7 before it repeats back down and drops down to the next row which is all controlled with these three uh, next statements so after this runs through once it gets to here where it says next i which will make the program jump back up to the for statement with uh, i next to it so from here we go back up to line number 70 this will increase by one and it go through this little bit again until it gets to this next i and it come back here again and that will loop round and around until it gets to above seven once it does that it will then go down to the next line which is next p which will then jump back up to the for statement for p which is number 40 and it will run through this back into the i hit the i statement wrap round this again before going back to p again jumping up this time it changed to two and it'll keep doing that until this goes up to eight once that happens it will go past i past p and go back to the next line which is next b which is right back up the top number 10 so this will then eventually change to one it will get again run through all of this all the way down to the i repeat this and through to the p repeat this down to the B and go all the way back up so hopefully that makes sense so basically these are looping every single time it get, goes through the program once this final line here B gets to 8 there's no more uh, lines in the program so the program will stop after that so before I run the program one more time uh, hopefully that makes sense so at the start we're changing the uh, border and the paper and printing what color the paper is uh, here uh, then it's going down to an area and putting a number at the beginning of a row and then in the i bit it's just listing all the numbers going across that row before it goes back to dropping down to the next row all the numbers across, next row, all numbers across. Once every row has been completed in the uh, P statement, it goes back to the top, changes the color of the paper and the border, clears the screen and goes through it all again. So if we run through the program all the way through once, you should see that happening and it should make a little bit more sense. And there we go and as you can see it's got to the final line which is 120 and the program has completed so if we push return 120 was the last line and everything's been um, run through and executed in order and everything was uh, correct 
So hopefully that little program explains a bit more to do with uh, the for statement, the to, the next, um, and the at. I think that was all the new ones. And just shows you something a little bit more visual um, and more exciting, hopefully. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please uh, thumb up the video and ask any questions if you have any, or leave any general comments. That would be great. Thanks for watching. Cheers.